Welcome. Today we discuss Wishbone's Tales of a Pup, Wishbone and a Glass Slipper, Chapter 5. The very next morning, Cinderpup fetched the mail and found a proclamation. It said that the princess would stop at nothing to find the owner of the glass slipper. Her servant would visit each and every house in the kingdom and every member of every household would be asked to try on the glass slipper. Cinderpup was thrilled. The princess was looking for him. Soon, his stepbrothers and stepmother would know that he was the handsome stranger at the ball. But Cinderpup's stepmother had other plans. Get upstairs and clean the attic, she ordered. I don't want to see you again until it's spick and span. Cinderpup groaned. The attic was a mess. How could he clean it before the royal servant arrived? Still, Cinderpup did not argue. He took the mop and pail and hurried upstairs. Cinderpup worked as fast as he could. He dusted and swept and mopped. As soon as he was finished, he raced down the stairs. His stepbrothers were just trying on the slipper when he came into the parlor. They each tried desperately to squeeze a foot into the tiny slipper, but it was like trying to squeeze a St. Bernard into a Chihuahua sweater. Then the servant stood up to leave. Cinderpup stopped him just in time. May I try? he asked politely. Cinderpup's stepmother glared at him. His stepbrothers roared with laughter. You! they all exclaimed. But the servant had orders to let everyone try, even a dirty stepchild. He knelt down in front of Cinderpup, and Cinderpup smiled and his paws slid easily into the slipper. Cinderpup's family could not believe it. The puppy had all made fun of and ordered around was the same handsome stranger they had seen at the ball. To Cinderpup's surprise, they fell to their knees and begged him to forgive them. And because he was as kind as he was handsome, Cinderpup did. In fact, Cinderpup even let his family live with him in the royal castle. Cinderpup's dreams had come true. He was happy, and he wanted everyone else to be happy too. And so for as long as there was royal balls to chase and grand gardens to run through, they all lived together happily ever after. So you see, it's always good to have a slipper handy. Take it from Cinder Pup and Wishbone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some serious chewing to do, says Cinder Pup. The end.